Hello, beautiful ladies and handsome men who tune in to BBW TV One. I was inspired this morning to make this video. And yes, I just woke up. So yes, my eyes are a little low. I have no makeup on. And my hair is a mess. And I'm still sleepy. <laughs> But I'm going to try to deliver this message as best I can. And hopefully I inspire someone. I want to start off by saying, don't compare yourself. Celebrate yourself. Be the best you that you can be. Don't feel inferior to the person next to you. Think of it like this. God made you from a mold. Threw that mold away. God doesn't make mistakes. You are God's creation. So celebrate yourself. If God made, put, made you from a 450 pound mold. And made your sister from a 150 pound mold. Your sister finished four years of college you couldn't make it through one year of college that's okay you are you and she is her God made y'all complete two completely different people it's okay to be yourself it's okay don't spend your whole life trying to measure up to someone because when you spend your time trying to measure up to the next person your friend your sister your cousin you're gonna be miserable at the end of the day because you don't focus on the important things about your about life and you don't focus on the good things about yourself you don't get a chance to see the good things in yourself because you're too worried about focusing on the what you don't have and what you're trying to get in being envious of other people just think about it if you go through life doing that you're going to be miserable I heard today on TV I woke up just in time to hear this And that's why I feel like God gave me this message. Take a suburban. Comfortably holds eight people. Take a Indy 500 race car. It's only going to hold one person. It goes faster on that racetrack. And they're fast cars. They're nice cars. Nice and sleek and fast that suburban you put that suburban on that indie racetrack against that indy 500 race car that indy 500 race car is going to beat that suburban the suburban is big and bulky yes you can fit a whole bunch of people in it and you can know it's a nice family car but it's not going to beat that indy 500 race car that sleek fast race car now you try to put your kids, your groceries, take the Indy 500 car on a trip out of town with the family. It's not going to make it. You can't fit anybody else in that car. You can't fit any groceries in that car, any luggage, any nothing. They are in a race of their own. You are in a race of your own. Be the best you that you can be. You see what I'm saying? There might be this beautiful, 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 what you call a bombshell sitting next to you. And you feel inferior. You feel less than because you don't look like her. Why feel that way? Why would you make yourself feel less than because you feel like you have to be like that Indy 500 race car over there? Well, you're just as good. You have your own qualities that she doesn't have. 
celebrate yourself don't try to measure up to the next person now with that said some ladies have low self esteem some men have low self esteem I'm talking to both men and ladies <clears throat> Although the channel is called BBW Big Beautiful Women TV, but I'm pretty sure there are some men who watch it too. If not, you can tell this certain man who has so self esteem about what I'm telling you guys. <clears throat> I want you to get up, go to a mirror, strip all your clothes down every last piece of clothing and I want you to put your hair up too because you gotta see everything if you have long hair put your hair up too strip down no bra no panties no shirt no pants everything and I want you to stand in the mirror and I want you to look in that mirror and say I love me and I love everything about me everything every roll every stretch mark every indentation every curve every bump every blemish Say it like, oh, I want you to look at that and say, why don't I, what's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? And look in that mirror and say, I'm just as beautiful as the next person. Accept your body, accept you as the, as the way you are because God made you that way. He made you that way. Now, God made you in your jeans let's say he made you to be 250 pounds and you're working so hard so hard to look like let's say your good friend let's say you look working so hard to be like your best friend she weighs 150 pounds now you may get down to that 150 pounds but you're going to struggle all your life you're going to be miserable all your life trying to stay into that 150 pound mold while your best friend over here is naturally 150 pounds she doesn't have to work out she doesn't have to eat healthy she can put anything in her mouth she can eat all day some of y'all know those girls who can eat all day long they always hungry they constantly eat and they don't hit the gym but they still keep their flat stomach it's in their genes to be that way you can't compete you can't compare yourself to her you have to be the best you that you can be you can be to be happy you have to accept and love you as the way you are now by no means am I saying to be unhealthy and just eat and eat and just whatever be healthy watch what you eat don't fill your body up with junk food a thin person shouldn't even fill their body up with junk food and exercise everyone should exercise because it keeps your heart healthy keeps your body healthy drink water it keeps you replenishing keeps you feeling good your organs and your body is working to its optimum level being healthy is key in life to live a long healthy life no matter what size you are but don't kill yourself thinking I don't measure up to this person I can't get a man because I don't weigh 150 pounds and I can't fit in these size 5 jeans no 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 you fit in your size 22 jeans you go to the gym you eat right you eat healthy and you love you in your size 22 jeans don't try to fit your size 22 body in a size 5 jeans it's not gonna happen and you're gonna kill yourself you're gonna constantly be unhappy because you're trying to fit in the size 5 jeans when you are a size 22 be the best you that you can be love you as you are you are beautiful who you are not inferior to anyone you are superior in your own right God gave you gifts that he didn't give the next person God made you in his image do the work God sent you to do has called for you to do in your size 22 jeans in your size 24 dress because you know sometimes dresses they run a little bit smaller than you know some jeans you feel me 
but be the best you that you can be you are beautiful you're kind you're smart you have all these qualities that you should start embracing you may be an artist embrace that don't be stuck on size don't be stuck on being like that someone else just be you be the best you that you can be and love it own it and love it